One teen is dead, another critically injured. That's the reality in Racine after two separate shootings involving teens just a week apart. Our Christina Van Zell is joining us live now outside the Racine Police Department with a message coming from community leaders. Yeah, Racine police are investigating both of those shootings, one which happened last night, and that came as some community members were grieving the loss of another teen just days prior. As investigators continue to look for suspects in both those shootings, community leaders are asking anyone with information to come forward. Sunday night, Racine Mayor Corey Mason attends a vigil. Losing a, a 14 year old to gun violence is just heartbreaking. I have a daughter who's 13 years old and I can't imagine. And just an hour after that vigil, young folks and guns just don't mix. Another teen was shot. I think that's the thing that sticks out the most is that they were very young. Racine police say on March 13th, officers responded to a shots fired complaint near 19th and Racine Street. The victim, 14-year-old Eugene Henderson, was shot in the head and later died. Investigators say he was the passenger in a stolen vehicle. That's forever. There's, there's no coming back from that. Sunday night, another teen was shot near Marquette and Albert. This time, a 16-year-old male. Racine police say he is in critical condition after suffering multiple gunshot wounds. This is a reflection on our community, and our community needs to get involved and do something about it. It's a national trend Racine leaders say has made its way into the community teens involved in gun violence. We're hearing it more and more with younger and younger teenagers. I mean, to put it in context, these are ninth and 10th graders oftentimes who are engaged in some of these activities. Racine County Crime Stoppers offering a $1,000 reward for anyone with information regarding Henderson's murder. Somebody knows something, somebody saw something, and somebody needs to step up and we need justice. And no one is in custody for either of those shootings. We did reach out to Crime Stoppers to see if there would be a reward for Sunday's shooting and have not yet heard back. Again, anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers or police. Reporting live in Racine, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. Christina, thank you. The war